What's going on gamers? It's Daily here back with the brand new Lego World War 2 mod for Men of War Assault Squad 2. This was created by the one, the only Mighty Mapper 123. Massive shout out to him. I'll be sure to put his channel in the description below if you want to go check him out. But today we have a small fortress defense by the Russian army here who are uh, defending the windows, defending the hallways, and all the way up till uh, the keep up here where they've got different sandbag defenses against a massive German army. And there are a couple new weapons in the mod. So we have these classic rifles from Lego right here. And then on top of that, we also have a sniper variant of the uh, standard rifle that we previously had in the mod. So two new weapons added to the mod and a big charge from hundreds of German soldiers against the Russian fortress. Well, let's check it out. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications on and comment down below. Let's get it. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel Alrighty then gamers let's go ahead and press start right here and see these lego boys moving into action right now they are going full sprint full tilt on forward i'm hearing a couple of shots coming out uh and it looks like the russian lines have begun to fire i am really curious about how those artillery pieces are going to go and i imagine they're gonna fire pretty quickly so let's actually go in slow mode i want to see the first volley of them striking out against these german lego soldiers seeing how they do there's the first shot going in and it hits a bush but it's still oh rocks the german army holy smokes okay and the second shot that was terrible the second cannon was absolutely god awful right there that was not impressive at all all right going into full-on normal speed here <laughs> that first shot man killed multiple multiple german soldiers the second not good in the slightest absolutely terrible absolutely terrible either way a bunch of people were commenting a suggestion to actually have the units explode when they die sort of like lego bricks or like in the lego games when they go Aah! that was my impression of the yoda sound effect of him dying it was terrible i don't want to talk about it anymore um but uh i think that would be kind of hard to do because it's you know a modded game i'm not entirely sure if it would be possible to have them break like that when they die it would certainly be really cool um maybe mighty will try and implement that oh oh i had to pause oh my goodness look wow what a shot my god this is like this is going to kill like half of the german army maybe a quarter of it my god man oh yikes dude oh the germans man not having fun and there's probably a second shot from the second cannon coming in soon Let's hope it's not that destructive, because that was brutal. Oh my goodness. One thing that uh, we could do that I can add to the mod is there is like a... Oh, oh, there's the second shot. Um, not nearly as impactful. It's really just like three or four guys here. Yeah, getting rocked, getting rocked. Um, there is a blood and gore mod that you can add, which I believe when the bodies die, they kind of explode into guts and stuff. Might not be the safest for YouTube monetization, um, and it might look really not very convincing that like Lego people are breaking. So maybe not that one. Maybe not. Either way, the Russians are taking some seriously heated losses now. Even a couple of their artillery members are dead. Uh oh, another big shot going out there. Hopefully, it wasn't too destructive this time. It might have been. <laughs> it very well might have been. Oh, yikes. This this defense man is, is holding strong. God. Uh, oh, jeez. Okay. All right. I did run this a few times. 
and uh, it was about 50-50 if the Russians or the Germans won. Basically, if the Germans were able to get inside the building, the Germans would win. But if they weren't able to, then they were just destroyed by the artillery. <laughs> Which, it seems like it's going that route right now. It seems like the artillery is just absolutely doming them and destroying them bit by bit. So I'm a little bit worried. Okay, that was a terrible shot. That's good. That's good. All right, yeah, get up there, boys. Come on. Y'all got to get to moving. <laughs> All right, hopefully, hopefully this is okay. You know, maybe, maybe those big shots are just, that was that, and now the Russians are gonna miss every subsequent shot. Let's see, how many kills? 83 kills on that one, and 23 on this one. They've got 100 kills between the two of them. Oh my God, how about some of the soldiers? This guy's got one kill, this guy's got none, this guy's got none, this guy's got one. Oh! This guy's got none. This guy's got two, this guy's got two, this guy's got three. Uh, this guy has one, two, none, and none. Okay, so the Russian soldiers, they really do seem to be getting absolutely carried by these artillery pieces. That seems to be very factual. Um, I mean, 100 kills. 100 kills from those things. How about these snipers? This guy's got five kills, this guy's got three, this guy's got one. Uh, this guy's got none, this guy's got five, this guy's got three, this guy's got three. Not bad, this guy's got none, this guy's got none. Uh, this fella's got one, this fella's got none. Okay, alright, you know, that's not too bad. Uh, it's not great either. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, maybe this is just gonna be a wash. Okay, that, that one missed by a lot, that one missed by quite a bit. Uh, I'm thinking if the Germans don't even make it to, like, the building... If they don't, like, if, if they just get absolutely squashed here, I'm saying we give the Germans some tanks. Uh, there aren't any Lego tanks in the in the war yet. Um, I, I think Mighty is trying to figure out a way to add them somehow, um, which would be very, very cool. That, that would be pretty legendary. But as of right now, there are none. So we would have to use regular... <laughs> Regular panzers and stuff, but that could still look kind of cool. That could still be kind of fun. Um, maybe lighter tanks. Maybe lighter tanks since, uh, you know, it's not like there's any anti-tank weapons that those guys have. Actually, they might. Hold on. Do these guys have AT grenades? Um, inventory. Nah, these guys don't have it. Oh, wait, actually, yeah, some of them do. Okay. Yeah, some of... This guy has an AT grenade. Okay, some of the Russians do have uh, AT capabilities then. That's good. There you go. Not not too shabby. So maybe that, that would work because uh, then the Russians would have some way of defending themselves against tanks. That's <laughs> that's basically the, the main concern with adding tanks is it's like, oh, it would become too OP in one direction. Although right now in one direction, um, it, it's very OP because of those artillery pieces. <laughs> They're just wasting these guys. Absolutely wasting them. All right, let's fast forward here. We're sort of in a grind fest here. It seems like, yeah, the Germans are going to lose. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's pretty much been 50-50 on uh, whether they win or lose. And this was a lose kind of battle here because they just weren't able to destroy those artillery pieces. The artillery pieces are continuing to reign supreme on the battlefield. Okay, we have them. Oh, a little bit of a charge going here. Oh, they all get just shot down. Uh! absolutely brutal right there bro um then we got these guys it's like eight soldiers or so oh okay okay all right that's like a warning shot <laughs> hey don't come any closer or we will blow the absolute living snot out of you all right there's five soldiers let's just bum rush them get in there boys oh and they all die okay let's run it back but with a couple of tanks i'm thinking all right check out how Funny these Lego characters look sitting on the side of the Panzer II. This is a full-scale Panzer II, by the way. This is a full-scale Panzer II. Hold up, I can show you guys what an actual German, like this is the size of the actual Germans in the game compared to <laughs> the Lego Germans are so big. So uh, yeah, the pan it got two Panzer IIs in here. Dos Panzer IIs, uh, and and I think that they are. A light enough tank that the the Russians can still defeat them just with AT grenades, but at the same time, their guns on those Panzer IIs will uh, be pretty devastating 
two artillery because they basically have an AA gun strapped onto them to fire. And we can see it firing right now uh, from quite the distance there, rattling off some shots. Should be actually pretty devastating to the infantry too. Um, but let's see, yeah, this one's zooming across this way. He's going. It's basically a toy tank. That's literally what it looks like. It's that small. <laughs> Which fits because we're doing Lego toys. It kind of works. I'm not entirely sure these Panzer twos are actually doing all that much, though, to the enemy. They're not getting that many kills. They seem to be missing a lot. There's an artillery round. It was not very devastating at all. I don't see any dead from that, so that's good for the Germans. There you go. Bad for the Russians. There should be another shot coming out very soon from the Rushkis. Let us see. Do the big boom boom. Or not. Just chill. That's cool, too, dog. Yeah, they are not firing, are they? Ah, there you go! Um, same spot as before, this time a little bit more devastating, still nothing too crazy. Here's the Panzer II off to the side over here, firing away, letting loose some shots. I don't think it can penetrate through these, uh, little fences. That might be the main problem there. Not a big artillery shot right there either. These artillery shots are not doing that much damage to the, uh, Germans, they are not zoning in on the proper areas to get the big kills, uh, but there's still plenty of artillery soldiers here to fire and use. Oh, this could be big. This could be really big. Let's watch it. Getting ready. Wow, that was terrible. Okay, so this is an example of one of the battles where the artillery is not nearly as effective, and I don't even think it's because of the Panzer IIs. I think the Panzer IIs are eliminating infantry, but they're not really doing anything against the artillery. The artillery is just not playing well itself, because the Panzer IIs aren't killing the artillery men to stop them. Yeah, look at that. Another terrible shot from the artillery. Yeah, this is that 50-50 I was talking about, where either uh, the artillery is, like, really on and the Germans are, are losing horribly, or the artillery is doing terrible, like right now, and the Germans are winning pretty decently. There you go, the Panzer II shooting at some of the infantry on the artillery right there, but still not killing it completely. Um, that artillery shot did decent, but you can see the Germans are a lot farther up than they were last time. There we go. Russian soldier there, dead. Um, that's one artillery piece down. This one's probably going to get grenaded. No, he throws the stick grenade at that soldier instead. Uh, it flushes him out, but would have been better to go for the artillery man. But there we go. Panzer II's come around. I don't even think the Panzer II's had that big of an effect on this battlefield, to be completely honest. I mean, maybe they got some kills. Let's see. Uh, this one got eight kills. This one got ten. Yeah, decent kills. Certainly decent kills. Uh, but I think purely just the infantry not getting hit by horrible blasts from artillery helped. The artillery crew missing all of the important areas to shoot at resulted in these Germans managing to get up here. And now it seems like they are going to get into the building. Now the building is going to still be very, very difficult. Um, I did see one instance where the Germans did not take the building because the building uh, interior guards were able to drive them off, uh, but I also saw some instances where the Germans got into the building and got completely uh, just gassed up and destroyed the Russians inside. So it could go either way. I don't know why this guy's not shooting right now. He's just standing in the foyer. Oh, there you go. He shoots one guy right in the butthole, and then he gets shot himself. We got a few German soldiers uh, crossing through here. A number of them getting in, actually. We do have some nice side panels, though, over here. These guys are going to be able to get some nice cross shots. Uh, oh, wow, this guy actually gets some kills before he gets basically, like, executed right there. Holy cow. That should have been a surrender. That uh, felt more like a war crime right there. Oh, we got grenades going off, too. Who's yoting those grenades? Oh, are these guys over here firing? Oh, yeah. There's a couple guys over here that are still firing into the Germans across the way, too. So, yeah, quite a number of Germans going down in this early foyer area. The foyer, as Americans would say. Yeah, no, it's foyer. <laughs> All right, there we go. Germans getting shot up. Russians holding steady right now. They can't even pee. Oh! Oh, that was a grenade. Someone launched a grenade right there. It's hard to see because the walls are tough. <laughs> it's a little bit a little bit tough to get the camera angles without the walls in them. There we go. All right. Germans right now getting clobbered. They're actually not having that good of gains. These Panzer IIs are basically going to be useless from now on. Uh, they might fit through the doorway, but actually... No, I don't think they'd fit through these bars or this gap here. So I think the... The Panzer IIs are basically out of commission. We'll let them roam around the map if they so desire. But yeah, they're, they're basically donezo for this battle. Oh, I think there was firing from outside, which resulted in the kills of these guys? Maybe? 
not entirely sure. Shoot him! Shoot those guys! Oh my god, nope. <laughs> got shot himself instead. Um, is this guy alive? Are you living? Oh my god, you are. Why are you like this? Oh! Get shot in the back! Dear goodness gracious. Well, this side's still up and up and at him. Uh, this guy's got five kills. This guy's got three. This guy's got three. This guy's got two. And this guy's got none. Um, so, like, 15 or so kills between all of them. If that math is correct at all. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to do it. Uh, oh, there's a German in these guys right here. What's going on? What is happening? Who's grenading? What is happening in this situation? Why did he get back on the sandbag with him? Oh, another grenade. What is, what, why don't you guys just kill him? Okay, he's walking, oh, there we go. <laughs> he walked away now. Oh, but his, his friends came in and they are now executing these guys. Yep, they are all dead, those Lego troopers. Dead as doornails right there. Um, these guys dead, we knew that. These guys still alive though. And then the boys up top, we still got many a trooper on the stairs and stuff like that. So, uh, here we go. German's rushing the stairs here. Oh, man, it's really hard to get an angle here. Uh, <laughs> wait, why did you guys all run away? Is there a grenade or something? A little confuzzled. Oh, these guys got beat up. Yeah, there's one guy left over here. Y'all got beasted. Oh, in the shoulder, and he is dead right there. Rip, rip, potato chip to my boy. Rip, rip to my boy. Okay, look at this slaughter on the stairs. The slaughter of the stairs. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think these guys are going to survive probably for a good bit. There you go. Nice headshot into that man. I mean, they are just holding out here. There's nothing the Germans can do. Why don't we go into fast motion here for a little bit and just watch in fast speed. Okay, I thought maybe like Germans would run in, get shot up, run in, get shot up, etc. Oh, there we go. No, they, these guys didn't like fire at all. Oh, they just booked it into this area. And they all died. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, we got grenades getting yoked from these guys up here That's why this open concept area is really nice for the Russians. They can just yoke grenades from above Look at that. Oh, these guys running in too, getting shot up by these guys down here on the stairs and over here, too I think the Germans just like want to come in here and kill the commander as bad as they can They, they want that command to kill. They want it bad. Oh, these guys up here died, but uh, we still have guards up this way Still just random grenades getting yote everywhere. Zalandam grenatas. Here, why don't we go ahead and have a little fun here. Give me this guy. Give me this bloke. All right, buddy. Okay, hold on. There's a number of them out there. Let's get the grenade. Ready? Cook it and eat it. Please tell me that didn't hit the top. Oh, no. It went over, but it didn't get any kills. Oh! <laughs> I tried to fire a shot. They were too quick and, and gutted us. They got us pretty good right there, didn't they? They got us pretty darn good. All right, let's go back into fast speed here. Oh, big grenade up there. It doesn't, it's not actually big. It didn't do big at all. Oh, that one got a double though. And then more Germans come running in and for some reason they just blow past these guys and go in this way. Sometimes what the AI does, it's a weird little glitch where like, there's all this cover here. There's even enemies here, but instead they get, they get it in their heads that they want to like set up here or like here. It's very peculiar, uh, but I mean, I'm sure if you guys have been watching Men of War videos for a while, or Call to Arms videos, or Gates of Hell videos, you, you know that that's <laughs> pretty par for the course. It's pretty par for the course. More grenades bangs up here. Grenades banging. Oh my god, more dead gems. Oh, I think the Russians might be able to hold this. Oh, we have a breach over here. Look at this. Germans flooding in, and th now they're going for the main office area. Hold up. Main office under siege here. It's very hard to get an angle in here. Oh! Granatas! Oh! Okay. There's one Russian there, and he dies. And that's it. That's all she wrote, baby. The Germans end up getting a victory. The Russians got a victory at the very beginning. Let's check out the bodies. Red or dead Germans? <laughs> Yellow or dead Russians? I will say, I think the Germans suffered the worst here. By a long shot, but uh, quite the battle. Either way, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload.
Thanks so much.